so today we are going to solve a problem which is based on de moivre's theorem now here we have to show that the 4 nth power of 1 plus 7 i upon 2 minus i the whole square is equal to minus 4 raised to n where n is a positive integer now guys let me tell you that we use the de moivre's theorem whenever we want to find out the power of a complex number so in this question we have to find out the 4 nth power and hence we will use the de moivre's theorem to get the answer so now since the given complex number is not in standard form now you must be thinking what is standard form so standard form means one real part and one imaginary part so you must have heard that x plus i y is a complex number and guys let me tell you that is called as a standard form so if you see here then r number is 1 plus 7 i upon 2 minus i the whole square it means here there are two real parts and two imaginary parts so if i want to find out the power of a complex number then according to de moivre's theorem we have to convert that number into polar form and then only we can get the power of a complex number by using de moivre's theorem so here i have two tasks with me first is to convert that given number into a standard form after that we will convert that standard form into polar form and then we will apply the de moivre's theorem by taking that power as 4n so guys let's start so How we'll do it so here the number is given this and we have to show that it's 4n power is equal to minus 4 raised to n so i'll re rewrite the question so therefore we want to prove that 1 plus 7i upon 2 minus i the whole square whole raised to 4n is equal to minus 4 raised to n so let's start so now I will consider this bracket only so equal to so guys you can solve here itself so now if I want to convert it into the standard form then I will remove this complex number or the imaginary part from the denominator so once we eliminate that imaginary part from the denominator then that number gets converted into a standard form so for that let's focus on denominator so 1 plus 7 as it is now to solve the denominator can you see here it is in the form of a minus b the whole square so first of all we need to apply that formula so a minus b the whole square is a square that is 4 minus 2 ab so 2 into 2 into i that is 4i plus b square that is i square so guys i am very sure that you all have done this formula in school days now let's reduce this so here we will get now let's come back to the denominator so what is i square so everybody knows that i square is negative one so for minus one we will get three minus 4i so now guys we have got a complex number in the denominator now let's remove it and for that we will use a method or a process called as rationalization so i will do the rationalization i will multiply numerator and denominator with the conjugate of denominator so So now let's multiply these two numbers in the numerator. So first I'll multiply this bracket with 1, 1 into 3, 3. Now I'll multiply this bracket with 7a. Now in the denominator again we have formula that is a minus b 
into a plus b which is a square minus b square so that will become 9 because 3 square minus 16 i square raised to 4a now let's do the simplification so i square is minus 1 so that will become minus 28 plus 3 it will give us minus 25 so i'll write it down on a paper so therefore it is equal to minus 25 now here 4i plus 21i it is 25i and in the denominator we will get i square that is minus 1 so this will become minus 16 minus 1 that is plus 16 so 9 plus 16 is 25 so here 25i and here 25 So now guys, if you observe the denominator, we have removed the complex number or imaginary part from the denominator. So now it's easy, just divide numerator separately with the real number which is present in the denominator. So here we will get minus 25 upon 25 that is minus 1 plus 25 upon 25 that is again 1 so only i raised to 4a and here we got the number in standard form so now we have to convert this standard form into a polar form and then apply the de Morgan's theorem so let's start so here i'll say let z equal to minus 1 plus i and for this number we will require r and theta so r is square root of x square plus y square so minus 1 square is 1 plus 1 square is 1 so we will get r at square root of 2 and theta will be tan inverse of y upon x so y is 1 and x is negative 1 so here we will get tan inverse of negative 1 now this number minus 1 plus i if i plot it on a coordinate system then this number will lie in second quadrant because x is negative and y is positive so if it lies in second quadrant then our theta must be between 90 to 180 so here if i find out tan inverse of minus 1 it is minus tan inverse of 1 so that is negative pi by 4 but this denotes that number is in fourth quadrant so to bring it in the second quadrant i would add pi in this so this will give us 3 pi by 4 and guys let me tell you 3 pi by 4 which is 135 degree lies in second quadrant so you all must be knowing this method which i had covered in the previous videos okay so why we add pi because to bring the value of theta between negative pi to positive pi because it is mandatory to bring that theta in between this range so that that becomes the principal value of theta and we have to always consider the principal value of theta in the polar form of a complex number so guys here i got r i got theta let's put it here so this will be equal to square root of 2 in bracket cos 3 pi by 4 plus i sin 3 pi by 4 raised to 4 n now so now the number is in polar form and we have power as 4 n so let's apply the de Moivre's theorem so what is de Moivre's theorem it says that power will remain with r so r is 2 raised to half because root 2 is 2 raised to half so that will become 2 raised to half raised to 4n and here that 4n will come inside and it will multiply this 3 pi by 4 and we will get cos 3 pi by 4 into 4n plus i sin 3 pi by 4 into 4n
now guys here 4 and 4 cancel out and we will get cos 3 pi n plus i sin 3 pi n but guys let me tell you that you are making one mistake now what is the mistake so if you see the question in the question it is given that we have to prove that the value of this complex number is equal to minus 4 raised to n it means we want that n outside the bracket or we want that n in the power so we cannot take n inside so how to achieve this so what i'll do is see now uh, purposely i did this thing because uh, i know that most of the students whenever they see that there is 4 n or some power outside and uh, the number is in polar form they start they get excited and what they do is they take that power directly inside and they say okay we have applied the de moivre's theorem but guys that is not true every time we have to think as per the required result so now in the required result we want n outside the bracket in the power so i will not take that n inside so what we will do is we will rewrite this term as this complex number raised to 4 whole raised to n so i will keep n outside and i will just take 4 inside so guys this will give us by by d moivre's theorem we will get square root of 2 that is 2 raised to half whole raised to 4 so i am just taking 4 inside and here we will get cos of 3 pi by 4 into 4 plus i sine 3 pi by 4 into 4 and guys where is that n so n is still outside now 4 and 4 cancel 4 and 4 cancel here 2 ones are 2 twos are so we will get 2 outside so 2 square is 4 so from here we will get 4 here 4 and 4 cancel so we know that the value of cos 3 pi is negative 1 so we'll get minus 1 and sine 3 pi is 0 so this raised to n and guys can you see here 4 into minus 1 which is minus 4 raised to n and that is nothing but our required result so see here as per the requirement i proved that the 4n power of the given number is minus 4 raised to n and i'm sure that you understood this video and you want to learn more videos on complex number and engineering mathematics so guys stay tuned you keep watching the channel as well as the website where you can get access to all videos in sequence thank you